Um, so this one is As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meisner. Um, this is historical fiction. It is set in 1918 um, when the Spanish flu epidemic kind of swept across um, the East Coast. It is set in Philadelphia. Um, it is told in multiple perspectives from three sisters, and also you get some chapters of their mom, Pauline. Um, it starts off, they live in a small town, um, small, tiny little community, um, but they're moving to Philadelphia because their father's uncle, okay, their father's uncle is a coroner, coroner? Is that the right term? Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, and they are, um, what, funeral home, right? The, the guy who makes them look pretty for funerals. So I can't believe it. Um, but he is, he's that. And they, um, he has offered his nephew the opportunity to come and inherit that business. Um, and so they move to Philadelphia um, and they are working in this funeral parlor, um, or their father is, and then the Spanish flu epidemic comes, and so they are having to deal with um, the fighting through all of these dead bodies, and how do you turn out, I mean, when there's so many bodies coming in to have funerals, how do you turn them back out kind of thing, and how do you deal with piles of bodies in the backyard, um, There, which is one of the issues. Um, I think dad, there's there's some involvement in World War One as well, um, which kind of comes at a crazy time. And then um, they had a younger brother, but he had died like the year before they moved to Philadelphia. So they adopt a boy, but it's not official because the flu epidemic. And so all of this stuff is going on, lots of ethical questions that are happening. Um, but it starts when the girls are very young. It ends when they're in their teens. So there's kind of a jump in years. Um, but it's beautiful. I loved this book. Um, the There was each sister kind of had a different um, personality and tone of voice. Um, and they all have different like not values, but like different um priorities in their life. So you can relate to a couple of them or one of them really well. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it to my mom to read and she devoured it as well. So beautiful, sad in the middle, gets better by the end.